Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and it's time for my October favorites. I have a bunch of stuff to share with you. Mostly makeup, but a couple other favorites too. So let's start with the other things. First is this hoodie that I'm wearing. I'll show you a picture of it right here since you can't really see it in its full glory while I'm wearing it. I've been wearing this hoodie in a ton of my videos and I've just been wearing it over and over again. I got it from Amazon. It was only $24. It's not super heavy weight, so it's perfect for fall. It's just light and cozy. I love that it has this really neutral color palette, but it also has this floral pattern on the sleeves and also on the hood. So it has a little bit of fun there, a little girly twist. It looks good with all the different makeup looks I've been wearing since it is so neutral but it's not just like a plain boring hoodie. So I've really been loving this. I love this color palette for fall and I just love hoodies. I like to be cozy. Next is my favorite book from the month. This one's called Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune. It's written by Roselle Lim. This was such a fun read. It definitely has a chick lit feel to it. It has a little love story, but the love story isn't the main basis of this book. There's a bunch of elements of magical realism. This book really deals with themes of family, grief and loss, tradition, community. It was just such a fun and different read for me. Thoroughly enjoyed this book. If that sounds like something that you would like, I really recommend that you check this one out. It was my favorite book I finished in October. Definitely just a good fun, not a light read, but a fun read for sure. Back to the tradition of not wearing my favorite nail color while I talk about it. Look at this, it's so dirty. I've had this polish forever, I really like it. This is a color that comes out every fall for me. This one's called Chocolate Mousse, it's from OPI. It's just a perfect nudie chocolate brown. I wore this for a while on its own and then I also paired this with a holographic Essie polish called You're a Gem. This is a fall staple for me, and no matter what your skin tone is, this looks great on everyone. I love polishes like that, and I definitely love Chocolate Mousse from OPI. Now let's talk about my favorite foundation for the month. I'm actually wearing this today, and it's the only foundation I took with me on my trip to New York. I went to Ipsy Live, and that's when you know that a foundation is truly reliable. If you're traveling and you pack one foundation, you know that's a good foundation. This is the Found Sealer Foundation from Tarte. I feel like I have put this in a favorites before, but anytime an old favorite pops up and gets used a lot in a month, I feel like it's worth mentioning again. If you have dry skin, I highly, highly recommend this one. I think I did a whole dedicated video with a demo and everything of this. I'll try to remember to link that in the description box. Perfect amount of coverage, perfect finish. Just really, really like everything about this from the packaging to the product inside. Such a good foundation. I feel like we're gonna be seeing this in my end of the year favorites, but it was a favorite in October too. <laughs> now on to cheeks. This is my favorite highlighter of the month. It's the highlighter that I'm wearing right now. I've been wearing this a ton. This is from the ColourPop Midnight Masquerade Collection. It's the Cinderella highlighter in the shade Horse and Carriage. I can't actually describe how much I love this powder highlighter. The glow that it gives me is absolutely unreal. I mean, I barely had to touch into the powder. Just, just, just take a minute. Let that soak in. Just soak in that swatch. Just, oh, I want to bathe in this powder. I love it so much. No question this was a favorite of the month. I honestly just do I need to say any more? Just look at it. Just look at it. While we're on the subject of ColourPop, as I so often am, I have two eye favorites from ColourPop. The first is this brow gel in the shade Dark Brown. I basically just haven't been using anything else on my brows. I haven't even really been filling them in. I've just been using this brow gel and it gives me enough coverage. I don't do a whole lot of shaping on my brows. Shocking, I know. But I do like to add a little something when I'm wearing a full face of makeup, I feel like just bare brows doesn't really look right. 
but this brow gel does enough for me as far as filling in goes that I can get away with just wearing this. Plus it does enough to hold these crazy brow hairs in place, which is saying a lot because <laughs> most brow gels cannot tackle these bad boys. And I've been very, very happy with this one. My other eye favorite from ColourPop is this Jelly Mud Shadow from the Bye Bye Birdie collection. This one's called On The Fly. It is such a beautiful berry, but it has a duochrome shift to it. I'll show you a little swatchy poo, just so you can see what I'm talking about. It has a berry reddish type of tone to it, but it has that little blue shift when it catches the light. It's just such an interesting color, super wearable. Even if you don't like to wear a lot of color, if you're really a neutral wearer, I think you would still be really comfortable with this kind of shade. Another one that's great for fall. Plus look how it matches my current nail color. I love a matching nail, you know what I'm saying? Now, more eyes. You guys know I love palettes. I have two palettes that I loved. I traveled with these when I went to New York. I've just been wearing them, enjoying them. Are they the most exciting color selection ever? No, but I like them. They're good formulas. They're good shades. The first is from Lorac Cosmetics. This is the Diamond Luxe Palette. I took this with me on my trip because I wanted a good selection of neutrals and this little palette just gave me everything I needed. I ended up wearing this with that ColourPop Jelly Much pretty much my whole trip. When I wasn't wearing that combo, I was wearing this other palette that I'll talk about in a minute. First, let me just rave about this a little bit more. The Lorac Pro Formula is my favorite eyeshadow formula that is on the market. I know that's crazy because I talk about ColourPop a lot and I love ColourPop, but this is so, oh, it's hard to describe. The shades are just delicious. They're creamy, they're opaque. I'll give you just a quick little finger swatch so you can see what I mean, because these shadows are everything. Now they are super pigmented and super soft like the ABH shadows. So if you're truly a beginner, these might be a little much for you. I rocked this shade so much. What's that called? Extravagant. This is so, oh, so yummy. Just everything I want out of a neutral palette and more. So I was taking this Lorac palette and doing a really neutral crease and then putting the ColourPop Jelly Mutt shadow on the fly all over the lid, then taking this Lorac shade called Glamorous and sort of tapping it on top. And it gave me the most gorgeous, sparkly, super reflective fall eye that I could ever ask for. Ugh. It's dreamy. It is absolutely dreamy. Lorac palettes and Lorac in general just stays so underrated and that breaks my heart because their formulas are so so good. They're not out here doing tons of launches and super crazy colors but the products that they make are so high quality. They're so well thought out. If you haven't given this palette a second look please do because it is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. You know, I just get oh, I get so excited about palettes. The other palette that I have been wearing and loving and just going back to is this Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. This is another one that I haven't yet done a video on, but I want to. And now, those of you who watch my favorites know, spoiler alert, I love this palette. If you have a lot of warm neutrals in your life, then this probably doesn't seem super exciting. I have a lot of warm neutrals in my life and I still find this exciting. I feel like Too Faced has really heard the cries of the people saying that the holiday collections don't have a good formula. This eyeshadow formula is stunning. It's a little bit less powdery than the Lorac shadows. So if you're more of a beginner or you're just not super well versed in eyeshadow, you feel like you might be a little uncomfortable working with a very, very pigmented, very powdery shadow, then this is probably more the direction you should go in. These are the three shades that I wore a ton. And if I wasn't going for that berry fall look that I just described with the Lorac palette and that jelly mud shadow, then I really love this warm golden mustardy look with these three shades. Oh my goodness. These three shades for a really simple mustard look. This matte shade called Butterscotch in the Crease. And then Candy Queen all over the lid. 
and lick the spoon right on that inner corner. Really quick and simple, but it's really impactful. It has a little pop of color. It's warm and toasty and just fall feels and everything that I love. Plus it smells good. It has super cute packaging. I am all for it. I am all about this extra spicy palette. Even though you now know that I love this palette, do you guys still wanna see a video about it? Maybe comparing it to the previous gingerbread palettes? Let me know in the comments because I, I still want to do a video about it just because it's really good. I want to go in depth, but let me know if you're interested in that. Lastly, for lips, I have two lipstick favorites. One is a luxe lipstick from ColourPop. I believe this is an Ulta exclusive shade. It's called Playing Games. Here's a little swatch. It's a berry meets brick red. I just love it. It looks great with those fall eye looks that I was describing. The Lux lipstick formula is one of my all-time favorite formulas, not just from ColourPop, but of all lipsticks ever. And I really, really enjoy this shade. And lastly, for the lips, this is the lip color that I'm wearing in today's video. I've been wearing it in a lot of videos lately, and that's because I love it. It's the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick from the Throwbacks Collection. It's the shade First Kiss. I have been wearing this lipstick out. Wow, those two shades look so similar. She definitely has a type. <laughs> uh, you know, it's okay. This one's a matte finish. This one is a cream finish. The ColourPop one is a little bit darker, but they do look pretty similar. I mean, I have a type. What can I say? Any of these products that have dedicated videos, I will link down in the description box for you so that you can see more info about them. Those are the things that I loved this month. And now I wanna hear what products you loved, what books you loved, even what snuggly, cozy clothes you loved. I always like to hear your favorites and I get so many good recommendations from you. So keep them coming. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. There's a fly in here. What the heck? Okay, cool. Sir, sir, this is a... Okay, let me calm down. Highlighter just gets me in my feelings sometimes, you know? Uh, what? Okay, I'm fine. I really do. We love a matching nail in this house. I am just a hot mess express today. What's new? Woo! I'm gonna lose my voice now. Lups, lups, lipstick. My husband is texting me about a refrigerator. Adulting things. <laughs> oh boy. I've been wearing this lipstick for hours and it still looks good. If I do say so myself. What am I gonna do when I can't have my pumpkins in the background anymore? I'm gonna have to find a little Christmas tree or something. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Okay, bye.